Hi guys, this is Zatko. I wanted to show you a pretty cool Panasonic little boombox from the, the 70s. It's a model SGJ500. Uh, it's a AM radio and a cassette. But what's cool is that it also has a vinyl record player in it as a boombox. They're really cool. Um, they're very collectible. I think Panasonic made a couple of those in the 70s and at least somebody else did. Uh, might have been TAC, I'm not sure. There weren't too many of them out there and they're very collectible. Um, I saw these once and was going to buy them but they go for about $100 on eBay and uh, I didn't want to put that into it. But I found this a couple years ago. I found this at a ham fest for 20 bucks. And uh, it was a, a, a vendor, so I mean, he should know what he's selling. And I said, you know, 20 bucks, does it work? He said, well, the radio works, the record player works, but the cassette does not work. Um, so he would go 20 bucks. Well, I thought, well, you know, I guess that's probably where it's worth uh, if it's not complete working. Um, not two people want it. So I bought it, and, and I actually had a reason to use it at one time as the, uh, like a portable record player. And I just kept it um, on display. Hadn't really thought too much about it until just recently. Um, there was a video out by uh, Art uh, Hollingsworth and he had picked up a portable cassette player off of uh, Goodwill and a uh, nice little unit and he said that it um, the only problem it didn't work you could have the, the motor worked but uh, no sound came out so he went inside of it cleaned uh, the contacts and uh, and that's all it needed. Wow, you know, I I didn't do anything with this Panasonic because since I had no noise at all coming out of it, I just assumed it was transistorized or something like that. And I didn't want to dig along all that to try to fix this. But I thought, what if it turns out to be a, a switch? You know, I've I've cleaned switches before. I've even put videos about them of my own channel uh, that uh, you know if you don't get those contacts cleaned um, you're gonna have um, very poor uh, results and uh, uh, that'll clean up a lot of things but I didn't expect this switch could cause no sound to come out so I went in and uh, I saw that old switch that um, from play and record so I squirted that out, and uh, geez, the darn thing worked fine after that. So since I had it apart, I was able to also clean the uh, volume and the, the tone, and um, everything's working. So let me show this little unit to you. It's really cool. All right, first of all, let's just go to um, AM radio, say. With deals for three, six, and nine dollars. TV in any room. I would like a live now. Okay, so obviously that works. Now let me put a tape in it. Switch this to tape. So, that's working great. That was super that uh, nothing but a contact. And then the last thing, 
this is what's really cool. Watch this. There's where the record player goes. Let's see. But it's a switch for photo. And that has um, set for 45 RPM and one for 33 RPM. And when you're done with that sucker, um, you just put that back in there. That's where you roll. So I just thought I'd show this thing to you. And uh, uh, thanks to uh, Art for uh, showing his cassette working because uh, I probably would not have done anything with this thinking it had more than just the switch. So, okay, well, that's it, guys. This is Atco. Signing off.